Every once in a while, a chart grabs me by the shoulders and it shakes me and it says, pay attention to me. There's something really gigantic about to happen. And today, in this video, I want to show you that chart. So let's jump over to the charts, Nate. Give me a, give me a plus sign when we're up and running. Take a look at this. This is the S&P 500 right here. These are the E-mini futures and they are a rocket ship right? They're just a giant rocket ship. There is some divergence here on the weekly chart, and that is not meaningful <laughs> during a gigantic trend like that, like what we're going through right now. Down here, we have the Australian dollar, Japanese yen, Japanese yen. This is going sideways, but this is going up. That traditionally does not happen. Traditionally, these financial instruments are correlated. These financial instruments run in lockstep with each other, but that does not appear to be happening. One of two things has to happen. The Australian dollar Japanese yen has to rise, or the S&P 500 has to fall. Right here on the chart, this area right here that I'm highlighting in yellow, that is about 2430 on the S&P E-minis. That is a giant move lower. In order for this correlation to return, the S&P 500, the E-minis have to fall to that level. That's like four times 200. That's like 800 ticks on the S&P E-minis. That's an insane number of ticks. That's like if your dog came in from running through the Alabama forest. That's how many ticks it would be. That's a lot of ticks. Nothing against Alabama. My father's from Alabama, so please don't get me wrong. Anyway, one of these two things has to happen. The, the Australian dollar Japanese yen has to rise or the S&P 500 has to fall. That's going to happen. Now, I don't really particularly like to take trades. Like, I, we're done with the chart here. I'm just going to close that out. I don't particularly like to sit here in front of the computer and press the buttons. As much as I love this brand new Microsoft Surface Book 2, this video is sponsored by Microsoft. Not actually true. We wish it were. But, um... I don't want to sit in front of the computer and do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the robot up and I'm going to look for a financial instrument like the Euro Japanese Yen that is highly correlated to the S&P 500 also. And I'm going to set the robot up, the T6 trend training robot, to sell the ever-loving shiz out of the Euro Yen automatically, hands off, look ma, no hands. And I'm just going to let that thing run because despite the fact that we're in a gigantic trend, we do have the Fed meeting coming up. We do have quadruple witching on Friday. We have a lot of things lining up. That this is a great week for a correction. And if I'm wrong, the T6 robot will stop me out. Um, in case you'd like to have those robots, I put a link up here above or down below, depending on where you're watching this video. Grab the robots while you can because they're on sale. And if you like anything at all, you like a sale. And I think the S&P 500 E-minis are about to go on sale. Thanks for being here, everybody. It's great to see you again. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another scintillating video. Bye for now.